When people say to me or ask me why I don't support Labour, you know, because technically I'm a bit leftist, slightly on the left, um, it's because I refuse to go along with this sort of fascist ideology where you tell people what they can and cannot do. I mean, these are, I presume this is a reference to students telling them what they can't, can and can't do. You know, people are just paying. These are customers. That's it. I mean, after all, they've been turned into customers. They pay. They pay their money. And, of course, they can go. with. They're free. They're free people. This is the what England is. It's free. Um, you know, it's a bit like when we're, you know, same with strikers. If I wish to, you know, if I was working for a firm and the others decided to strike, which is fine, you know, people can do. I mean, I'd sack the lot. Anyone who strikes, I'd just sack them. I mean, personally, I don't see why... I don't understand why in England we can't sack people who would choose not to, you know, go to work. After all, you know, they went and agreed with the wages and it was laid down to them and, it, you know, that it should have been discussed with them. If um, if people aren't happy with the money they're currently on, they just move, get another job. I mean, you know, it's simple. People do it all the time. Um, you know, that's, that's the good thing about England. You can choose, you know, people change jobs. One day you might be a nurse, tomorrow you could be a comedian or, a, you know, you might be a doctor and then next day something or other, you know, people change. But uh, I, won't, I won't go along with this disgusting thing. I think it's disgusting telling people what they can and can't do. How dare you bully people? I'm disgusting. It's really disgusting, most lowest of the low, telling what others they can do. That's what you do in fascist states. And, you know, it's understandable because socialists, you've got to remember Nazi parties were socialists. So when you see um, lefties acting, you know, like fascists, it's understandable. There's no difference. I mean, for me, the fascist parties of uh, Nazi Germany are just the same as all the others. So all those other socialist systems, it's just... It's just it's a pretense when people go, oh, we, 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 we don't like Hitler. We're not the same. We're not them. They're, they're not real they're not socialists. Of course they are. Because you're doing the same thing. The, the fact that you're saying, do not, you know, even in your literature, <coughs> say, do not do this. That like when you say, do not cross picket lines. And then people, when anyone who decides to cross a picket line, it's hell abuse and windows put through in the homes and stuff. It's disgusting. <coughs> Sorry, but I don't go along with that. And, you know, these people try... No, no they are. They're bullying me online. They're too thick to not put forward an argument. I keep saying, you know, debate with me, but, you know, all I get is abuse. So that's what they do. They're not too bright. Um, but this is why, I mean, I'm glad this... Um, you know, I'm glad they've posted this, just to demonstrate to the world what they're like, how they believe in telling others what to do. They don't believe that you're free. They don't believe in freedom or anything like that. They believe in telling you, demanding. And if you don't like it, you know, you probably end up punished. It shows the results. I mean, I remember that's it's always forced, is socialism. That's why it always turns out, even even now, before they've got into power, you know, they'll say, oh, no, we're not like that. This time it'll be different. But oh, it isn't. You're silencing people. You're getting people off Twitter, Facebook and whatnot. You're getting people sacked. You know, there's no... The moment you do that, and you know, even... And then it's even worse because people sit around and read these tweets, who are, you know, and they don't speak out. So they, they're just as bad as the ones who actually do it, the ones who you know, phone up the businesses and say, don't work or, you know, get rid of this person or, you know, maybe um, don't advertise on this and blah, blah, blah. And by the way, on a side note, I have people saying I shouldn't be posting Daily Mail posts, you know, as if, um, you know, why? It's a free world. I'm allowed to post. I post from different news articles I won't be bullied by you scummy little scumbags. And I'll tell you what, I'll defend the Daily Mail over, which is why I think you're disgusting people, is that often, and this is the thing, I actually think that in some ways left-wing, because they post a lot of animal rights stories. They're constantly posting abuse about, you know, saying that 
and you want them shut down? No, sir, no, sir. I won't be silenced on that. You know, because I, I, I don't want animals hurt. You might do, you're scum. You know, you don't, you, you'd rather a paper get shut down um, and have animals hurt. Well, you know, they're exposing the cruelty. So, you know, you can sit there like smug having left wing twits, pretending you're working class, wearing your false, you know, but your little flat cap, pretending you're working class. Well, in reality, middle class jerks, absolutely disgusting people. Um, but you know, I'll put the animals first. You say, right, that's the point. I mean, this is why I'm a bit of a left wing. You know, I, I go into, I'm into green stuff and animal rights, not into being bullied and telling others to what to do. So, you know, sorry, folks, I don't get bullied. And I, you know, bring it on. You can come and kill me if you want, because that's eventually what you'll, one of you guys will probably do, because you're so mental. Half of you. Do you I find I find the left wingers really disgusting people. You see, the hatred, the 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 two facedness of it all nonsense. I don't find it's rare. I find someone on the left who's actually very nice. That's my problem. They're not very nice people. I mean, I've had people abuse me, and they go, "It's not really bullying. I heard that it's funny, isn't it?" No, you're just a nasty bully. You know, you're too thick to understand what bullying is. Uh, if they do it, they're not bothered. <laughs> you stupid idiots, you're disgusting. 